Welcome to our channel Be Smarter. Hope you all enjoyed the previous sessions. Now let's get started with the next bead value of 5. How we can add the upper bead value 5 with the addition and subtraction. Let's get started. Look at the sum 1. So we have to look below what we supposed to do. Shoot like this and hold your pencil. I hope you remember the pencil holding. Use your thumb to push up. So we have got 1. Next to 2. Look below. Can we add 2 from 3? Yes. Use your thumb to push up. We have got 3. Next 5. Look below. 1 to 1 low B is there. But how much we want? 5. How can we add 5? Look above. The upper B value is 5. So just we have to add 5. Use your four finger to pull down. So when 5 comes, we are going to use our four finger only to pull down. Keeping the finger got 8. Next nothing, set 0. Just we have to arrange the beads. Write the answer 8. Hope you understood. Let's get started with the second sum. Look at the sum 4. Look below. Is it enough? Yes. So use your thumb to push up. Got 4. Next, less 2. We are going to cut 2. Whenever less comes, we are going to use 4 finger to pull down. The index finger to pull down. Keeping your finger got 2. Next, 5. Look below, not enough. Yes, you are right. 5 is above. Look above, use your index finger, four finger to pull down, got seven. Next, set zero, answer is seven. Now, look at the sum two, look below, can we push up two? Yes, use your thumb to push up, got two. Next, next one, again, you are going to cut one. So, use your four finger to pull down, got one. Next, five, look below, not enough, because one be three, but we want five. So where will we go? Above. Look above. Is it enough? Yes. Use your four finger to pull down. As it's small space for adding, we are using the four finger only. To pull down five. So we have got six. Next, nothing. Set zero. Got six. Look at the sum five. Look below. We don't have. So where will we add five? Above. Use your four finger to pull down. Got five. Next to 4, look below. You can push up 4 beads with our thumb, right? Yes. So use your thumb to push up. Now we have got 9. Next, less 5. So this is the new concept in this page. Along with add 5. Now here, less 5. We are going to cut 5. So what we do, what we have added in the previous sums, we are going to cut less 5. Use your four finger to pull out. Keeping the finger guard, four. Next set zero. Answer is four. Now look at the sum five. Look below, not enough. Above, enough. Use your four finger to pull down. Keeping the finger guard, five. Next to three. Look below. Can you push up three? Yes. Use your thumb to push up. We have got eight. Next less five. Look below, not enough. Above, use your fourth finger to pull out. Just we have to remove. Keeping the finger part three. Next, nothing. Set zero. Answer is three. So now, in this manner, you can have add five and less five. So hope you all got the concept clearly. Just practice this page until the next session for the abacus part. Now, just have a glance of today's code. Be conscious about your handwriting. It's part of your personality. So when it comes for this, like it can be any language. It can be our mother tongue, or else English, or else if you have learned any other uh, language apart from these two, like a second language, it can be Arabic or Hindi, whatever it is, the handwriting is most important. And according to this quote, they are telling it's part of our personality. How the way it is, for example, wherever it is or whenever it is, if you present any kind of presentation, it can be your assignment paper or as your exam papers, even in your class, like what you write, the daily notes. So whenever the teachers have glance, immediately it gives the impression. So when we look at this first, it gives good impression, right? 
So always what we supposed to do? Whenever we write, we have to be conscious about our handwriting. It has to be neat and legible. Either cursive or else the normal way, it's absolutely fine. But the thing is, the presentation is most important. So for that, what we can focus? We have to focus on our posture. How the way we sit and write. It should not be like we are leaning on the table or else like we are sitting on a lazy pose and writing likewise. No. If we do likewise, actually, we may feel like uh, tired soon as well as we can't able to get neat and legible handwriting as well. So the posture is most important. And then how the way you write, the pencil holding, that is also like one of the important factor which plays the vital role in good handwriting. So whatever like we write, always just admire your handwriting. How the way you write, when you are just like admiring your writing, obviously you can focus with a neat and legible handwriting too. I hope you got it. Soon we will come up with the cursive session so that you can learn cursive handwriting as well. Now let's get started with the next activity, flashcards. It's nothing but it's a card. What like we have like printed here, the print, it's with the beads and the back, it's with the numeral value. So whatever you see in the backers, in the same manner, this we will be showing. So this will help to improve the photographic memory. Because whatever like we do in a backers or else in the book, when we write and solve it, the same thing for the fraction of seconds, we will be just like having this flashcards. So how quick you will be focusing on it, you can. So what you all can do children, you can take any kind of like cardboard, you can draw the feed value and the back side you can just write your uh, numeric for that value. Then you can ask your mom to just have a flashcard like this. So here it is. Yes, four, one, right here, six, yes, and then five. So in this manner you can play. So this will help to improve our focus and concentration. Hope you all clear with this concept. And let me show you another interesting activity just like a puzzle. You can take any find the way puzzle. So according to the age it can be like harder, easier. Here you can see this is this is for the younger batch and this is for the elder batch. About 8 and 4 kids they do this way. So these kind of activities are quite interesting as well as these all will help to improve our concentration and memory part. Not only with study part, even with the fun we can improve. In the same manner, the another activity, we always play like certain memory games, right? Even we adults play with the movies and others some songs. So the same way you children, you can play with the names of the countries which the game is called Atlas. In case like you can play with your siblings in the sense, you can select your own country or state, the place names, these all we can. How we will start this? First, a person has to start when it comes for the Atlas. So start means just start it with yes. So any country starts with yes, we start. For example, Sri Lanka ends with A, America. Again ends with A. This A is always like having lots of A starting with A ending with A. So it will be funny. And Australia. Yes, A. So here we will change that. Ajman. N. So New York. K. Kenya. Likewise, you can keep on continuing. So whenever you feel bored, you can help your mom along with the household. Then you can play with her. So that it will be funny. You can spend your time nicely. At home itself, as well as you can improve your vocabulary, concentration, memory power. Hope you all got this clearly. Isn't it clearly? Yes. Now let's get started with next activity. What is brain gym exercise? Hope you all have seen our introduction video. We have mentioned that brain gym exercise. Brain gym exercises are nothing but simple physical moves which help to trigger our brain as well as like it improves certain 
development. For example, it can be eye and hand coordination, concentration, memory power, reading, speaking, spellings, etc. For example, today I will show you one branching exercise with both hands. The name we term this is thumbs up and thumbs down. Not in this manner, but both thumbs you can just keep up. Then what you supposed to do? You have to just bring the thumb down and open this four fingers. So one thumb is up and when you like to see the thumb is down but the force is like this. So just you have to keep exactly you can visualize directly your face. Thumbs up and thumbs down. So what you supposed to do? You have to continue both hands just thumbs up thumbs down. But when you do this exercise, you have to fold the rest of the four fingers correctly. So when you see here, in this manner, you have to continue. Daily, you can practice for few seconds. Even it can be for one minute. So whenever we do, what we supposed to do is, we have to focus on our thumb. Hope you got this. Through this brand new exercise, what are the development we can get? Concentration, memory power, focus as well as eye and hand coordination. Likewise, in our upcoming sessions, we will have some other brain gym exercise too. Hope you all enjoy our session today. We are super excited to meet you in our next session. Till then, stay tuned. With Be Smarter, Stay Stronger. Bye-bye.